Now, I thought this morning that I would just show you how great a Christian I am and how well I lead my Christian life. So I was going to show you my gold medals for leading the Christian life. This is my gold medal for being the cleverest person at Moore College. First, this is my gold medal. This is what I try and strive for all the time. This is my gold medal for always being right. Any argument about theology, I'm always right. This is my gold medal for having the most valuable sermons. All my sermons are worth lots and lots of money. This is my gold medal This is my gold medal for exercising all the freedoms I have in Christ, no matter what. Anything that Jesus says I'm free to do, I do, even if it gets other people. Anyway, we won't go into that. I have a gold medal for using all my freedoms. And I have a gold medal in the Christian life for being very powerful and authoritative and being able to tell everybody what to do. I have all these gold medals and as I live my Christian life, I'm trying to get gold medals just like these. What do you think? Are these good gold medals to boast about? Would you be happy to have these gold medals? I want to tell you about a gold medal. This one's got nothing on it. About a gold medal that Paul, St. Paul, wanted. Because he said as he lived the Christian life and he kept going in the Christian life, he said what gold medal he wanted. He thought none of these things were wrong, but they weren't the most important thing to go for as a Christian. The thing he went for was not the black spots. He went for love. He went for love of people who weren't Christians. He went for love of people who were Christians. So Paul would be weak if that helped people be Christians. Paul would give up his freedoms if that would help people be Christians. Paul talked about Jesus for free because he wanted people to be Christians. And Paul was prepared to give up in theological arguments when it didn't matter, when it was just opinion. And actually, I never came first at Moore College either. <laughs> that is where our Christian lives should be running for that's the prize, to love people who aren't Christians and to love people who are Christians.
so that we can know Jesus as our friend.